the uh, podium and he's going to be speaking uh, uh, not uh, about the title that's actually on on your uh, papers because the sheikh uh, couldn't make it but he's going to be talking about Al-Qur'an Al-Kareem so I'm going to turn it over to the sheikh Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim نحمده تعالى ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله ثم أما بعد Good afternoon Good afternoon Good afternoon I'm going to go to sleep too Wake up. Before I start my lecture, there's a, uh, there's a poem or a line. And it's just an answer to uh, Sheikh Abdul Rashid with his lecture. Because he talks about a lot of things historically, even though I came late, but I guess I kind of understood what he was trying to relate to you of what was going on in the past. But uh, he also reminded me of a line. لَيْسَ الْفَتَى من قال كان أبي إن الفتى من قال ها أنا ذا Let me repeat it for you ليس الفتى من قال كان أبي إن الفتى من قال ها أنا ذا A the dude the man the person that counts is not that who says my father was. But it's that one that comes and says, here I am. We can sing all the songs and we can uh, write all the historical books and we can cry out all about the history and what we have done as Muslims in the past. And we should be proud of it because we've done a lot. But at the end of the day, it's called past. P-A-S-T. Past. It's called history. A people read it to entertain themselves. We should be part of the new history, the new era. We should establish our own dynasty and legacy. So one day, one day, Somebody in the future will stand up and speak about us. I can just imagine 300 years from now or so, someone stands up and talks about our time. See, hmm, our time defeats, bloodshed, countries falling left and right, illiteracy in our country. Surpasses all countries. Hmm. Oppression. Dictatorships. Heck. A lot of you have changed their names. From Muhammad to Mike. From Aisha to whatever. Our earnings. I don't know how it is. Most of us sell alcohol. We don't care about riba anymore. Ah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. What kind of history are we leaving behind us. And that should be a thought. <clears throat> and being here in this conference is a positive note. Maybe out of this conference, one of you will be somebody that will re-energize the ummah and be like Jabir ibn Hayyan or a Zufi, as Sheikh Abdul Rashid has said. Not just discover the next galaxy, but actually go up there. You never know. But that can never happen if we find ourselves away from what I will talk about today. If we find ourselves away from the Qur'an al kareem How many of you know the Qur'an al kareem Alhamdulillah, a lot of you don't know the Qur'an al kareem too. 
Okay, how many of you don't know the Quran al Kareem? Oh, well, at least I saw a hand. Honesty is good. Al Quran al Kareem. Every, every existence has a source, source of energy. Do you know what keeps us planted on earth? We're not floating. Gravity. Gravity is the source of keeping us stable on earth. Do you know what keeps earth from leaning to the side? The mountains. Huh? If it wasn't for the mountains, we'll be going like this. We'll be sliding. And I'm not talking about Disney World. You'll slide. With no gravity, in no stability, no mountains, we'll be floating all over the place. You can't live. You can't. What keeps a house intact together between the husband and the wife and the children is is love. Thank you. Are you guys too ashamed of this word? Okay. I won't say love. Love. So, so that keeps everything together in, in the house. Everything has a source. Source of energy. Source of light. Source, source of existence. We as Muslims have a special source that keeps us going and keeps us alive. And for us to survive, it's called Al Quran Al Kareem. Al Quran. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in the hadith, Taraktu fikum ma in tamasaktum bihima. I have left behind me if you were to hold it onto it something if you are to hold on to it you will never go astray never you'll never go wrong can you imagine living never going wrong he said Al Quran in the Sunnah that's what keeps us together. That's what keeps us strong. That's what keeps our identity known. That's what makes us who we are. And what I'm going to talk about today is just a simple issues that many of you already know. But some of the hadiths, they're very, very wonderful to talk about. So I'm going to read some of the hadiths and we'll talk about them. And we'll talk about the effects of the Qur'an al-Kareem in our personal life. And hopefully, inshallah, we'll come out more serious about reading the Qur'an al-Kareem and living with it, and living according to it, than we ever were. An Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu qala an al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam annahu qal. If you know Arabic, these, beautiful, these hadiths are very beautiful. So listen to them. إن هذا القرآن مأدبة الله فتعلموا من مأدبته ما استطعتم إن هذا القرآن هو حبل الله المتين هو النور الشافي وعصمة لمن تمسك به ونجاة لمن تبعه لا يعوج فيقوم ولا يزيغ فيستعتب ولا تنقضي عجائبه ولا يخلق من كثرة الرد فتلوه فإن الله تعالى يأجركم على تلاوته بكل حرف عشر حسنات أما أني لا أقول ألف لام ميم حرف ولكن ألف حرف ولام حرف وميم حرف How many of you know Arabic? Okay, it's enough. I don't need to translate it. Hey, one is enough. 